Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Harsha Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on computing the capital gain. So far, 24 problems I have completed in the previous videos. Now, four more problems I'm going to complete in this video. That will be the end of all the provisions of capital gain. How to compute the income from capital gain. So if you want the perfect command on this topic, watch all the videos from beginning till end. So before starting the 25th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the point, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, see the 25th problem. Uh, on 1st July 1975, Mr. Jagannath purchased an agricultural land in Karnul for a price of 3,8,000. So, this uh, land was purchased in 1975 before 1-4-2001. During the previous year, relevant to the current assessment year, he sold half of the property for 42 lakhs and immediately he purchased agricultural land for 9,30,000 in a village and a piece of land in Hyderabad city for 9 lakhs. Calculate the taxable income under capital, under capital gain if FMB on 1-4-2001 is 21 lakhs. So the SSC sold one agricultural land and purchased another agricultural land. So he will get exemption under section 54B just like the previous problem. right? So actually the house was purchased, the land was purchased before 1-4-2001. So we, uh, the SSC can choose either the actual cost or FMB. Here FMB is 21 lakh for the complete land. But half of the land is sold. So what is the consideration received? 42 lakh rupees is the consideration received. So consideration received 42 lakh. No transfer expenses are there. Net consideration. Indexed cost of acquisition. The fair market value of the land on 1-4-2001 was 21 lakh. So 21 lakh into 331 by 100 but this is the total cost only half of the land is sold so into 1 by 2 so 34 lakh 75,500 is the indexed cost of acquisition of half of the land because only half land is sold now capital one gain 7 lakh 24,500 now we'll give the exemption under section 54b here the exemption under section 54b is allowed to the least to the following two. First, you should write the SSC has sold one agricultural land and purchased another agricultural land. So, exemption under section 54b is allowed to the least of the following two. Cost of the new land purchased, how much is the cost? 9,30,000. And the capital gain amount is 7,24,500, whichever is least. 7,24,500 is the least. That is the exemption. So, capital gain, LTCG will be nil. And one point you remember, the land purchased in Hyderabad city is not eligible for exemption under section 54B. Because only agricultural land purchased and eligibility is there. That's it. Now 26th problem. Mr. Narayan Reddy is owning a building since 1-5-1982 and using for industrial purpose. Again a new provision. The SSC has purchased a building for industrial purpose. The cost of the building is 92,000. During the previous year, the state government acquired the building by passing an ordinance and paid 14,26,000 as compensation. So this industrial building has been compulsorily acquired by the government, right? And compensation paid to the SSC is 14,26,000. Immediately he purchased an old building for industrial purpose for 12 lakh and spent 80,000 for its renovation. Calculate income from capital gain. Now, the new point in this problem is the SSC has given away one industrial building and from the compensation received, he has purchased another building for industrial purpose. In that case, income tax I will give exemption under section 15. D. Now, so far we have done section 54, then 54B, then 54D. 54 is 
for selling one in the residential house and purchasing another residential house. 54B selling one agricultural land and purchasing another agricultural land. And 54D is for selling one industrial building and purchasing another industrial building. Then exemption under section 54D. See here. Mr. Narayanadi, compensation received is 14,26,000. It is not called consideration because compensation has been received from the government for compulsory acquisition. Transfer expense are not there. Indexed cost of acquisition. Actually, fair market value is not given. The actual cost was 92,000 in 1982. That cost only will take into 331 by 100, 3,4520. So capital gain is 11,21,480. Now this is the capital gain. Now exemption under section 54D. The SSC has transferred industrial building and purchased a building for industrial purpose. So exemption under section 54D is allowed to the least of the following two. Now what is the cost of the building purchased? The cost of the new building purchased is 40, you know, 12 lakh plus 80,000 spent for renovation. So the cost incurred is 12 lakh 80,000. Whereas capital gain amount is 11 lakh 21,480. Whichever is least, 112140 is least. So exemption under section 54D is 11,21,480. LTCG will be nil. So this is the new point. Industrial building. Next, 27th problem. During the previous year, Sri K. Giri Babu sold his building situated in Bangalore for 16,30,000. This is the consideration received on selling an industrial building. The cost is not industrial building, it is only building given. Yes, building he has sold for 16,30,000. The cost of which is 5,11 years ago. Registration expenses incurred 40,000 and brokerage paid to purchase 8,000. Actually, cost of acquisition include the actual cost and all incidental expenses. So these incidental expenses will also be added to the cost. The cost of the building is 5 lakh plus 40,000 plus 8,000. 5 lakh 48,000 is the cost of acquisition 11 years ago. After selling the building within 3 months, he invested 4 lakh in NABAD, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, which has been notified as specified security under section 54 EC. Now compute the income from capital gain if selling expense are 80,000 and cost inflated index in the year of purchase was 137. So what is the consideration received 16,30,000. The consideration received 16,30,000 selling expenses, transfer expense 80,000. The net consideration 15,50,000. Indexed cost of acquisition. Actually the building cost was 5 lakh but 40,000 incurred for registration and 8,000 for brokerage. That will also be added to the cost. So 5,48,000 into 331 divided by 137. 137 is the index number of the year of purchase that is given in the problem. So 13,24,000 that is the indexed cost of acquisition. Deduct 2,26,000 is the capital gain. From this exemption under section 54 EC, Income Tax Act says if a building is sold and from the proceeds, if notified securities are purchased, so which are the notified securities? The securities of NABAD and many other security which has been notified under section 54 EC. So in the problem itself, it is given that SSC has invested in NABAD and which is a notified security under section 54 EC. Now, how much, how much he has invested? He has invested 4 lakh rupees. But the capital gain amount is 2,26,000. The least of the following two. The SSC has transferred building and investor is notified security under 754 EC. So exemption can be given to the least of the following two. Actual amount invested 4 lakh. But actual in, uh, capital gain amount is 2,26,000. Whichever is least. So 2,26,000 is the least. That will be allowed as exemption under section 54 EC. So long term capital gain LTCG is nil. That's it. Now one more problem we'll do, that is 28th problem. Sri Babu Chari sold his house on 25th March 2023 for 28 lakh. This is the consideration received. 
selling expenses 10,000. This house has been purchased in the year 1998-99 for 2 lakh and as on 2001 FMB is 2 lakh 50 thousand. The actual cost 2 lakh but fair market value is 2 lakh 50 thousand. So SSC can choose higher 2 lakh 50 thousand. He has invested 5 lakh rupees in the bonds of National Highway Authority of India NHAI. The full form of NHAI is National Highway Authority of India. And a new house has been purchased for 40 lakh. So actually he has sold one house and purchased another house and also invested in notified securities. NHAI is notified security under section 54 EC. Then calculate the amount of taxable capital gain for the current assessment year. So the SSC will get exemption under section 54 and also under section 54 EC. Consideration received 28 lakh minus selling expense of 10,000 deduct 27 lakh 90 thousand that is the net consideration indexed cost of acquisition fair market value FMB is 2 lakh 50 thousand into 331 by 100 8 lakh 27 find the so capital gain we got 19 lakh 62 thousand find from this capital gain one by one exemption we can give the first exemption is 54 because the SSC has sold one agri one in the residential house and purchased another residential house. So exemption under section 54 is allowed, 14 lakh. Apart from that, the SSC has invested in NHAI, that is a notified security under section 54 EC. So 5 lakh rupees he has invested. Now subtract 19 lakh 62 500 minus 14 lakh minus 5 lakh. 62,500 is the long term capital gain. That's all. So totally 29 problems are there, but I have explained you 28 problems. The last problem you can do it yourself as your practice. Inshallah, next uh, video we will start uh, the next topic. Uh, inshallah, we'll start salary, income from salary. So if you want the complete command on the subject of income tax, watch all the videos. Go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax for the assessment year 23-24. Watch each and every video, get the full confidence, command on the subject so that confidently you can face the examination. Apart from that, this income tax is a practical subject which everybody must know the provisions of income tax. Inshallah, we'll continue in the next video.